Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, August 20th, 2016, and it's a beautiful day out here in North Jersey. Um, I have one devotional today, and uh, right after I read this devotional, I'm going to pray uh, to the Lord for everyone who, um, who needs prayer. I'm going to intercede for you. I'm going to pray uh, for all the people that sent me prayers and anyone listening that uh, needs to reach the Father with a, a prayer for healing or whatever it is that's going on in your life. And um, I would do that after this um, devotional. This is called... Um, uh, the account with purity and um, out of the heart proceed those uh, five words are from Matthew 15 19 we begin by trusting our ignorance and calling it innocence by trusting our innocence and calling it purity and when we hear these rugged statements of our Lord's, we shrink and say, but I never felt any of those awful things in my heart. We resent what Jesus Christ reveals. Either Jesus Christ is the supreme authority on, hum on the human heart, or he is not worth paying any attention to. Am I prepared to trust his penetration? Or do I prefer to trust my innocent ignorance? If I make conscience innocence the test, I am likely to come to a place where I find with a shuddering awakening that what Jesus Christ said is true and I shall be appalled at the possibility of evil and wrong in me. As long as I remain under the refuge of innocence, I am living in a fool's paradise. If I have never been a black god, the reason is a mixture of cowardice and the protection of civilized life. But when I am undressed before God, I find that Jesus Christ is right in his diagnosis. The only thing that safeguards is the redemption of Jesus Christ. If I will hand myself over to him, I need never experience the terrible possibilities that are in my heart. Purity is too deep down for me to get to naturally. But when the Holy Spirit comes in, he brings into the center of my personal life the very spirit that was manifested in the life of Jesus Christ vis-a-vis -vis the Holy Spirit, which is unsullied purity. Amen. I'm going to let you do the commentary on that. But um, I'm going to say the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you for another day. Thank you for these ministries and all the blessings that you've given me and the abundant life. Thank you for answering the prayers of the people that you sent into this ministry. And dear Father God, I have a list here of prayers. And I present them to you, Father. I present them to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I rebuke and I, re I bind all disease, misery, depression, um, co domestic conflict, um, all the issues that 
These people came to me on their knees to intercede for them to you. I rebuke and I, re I bind all of Satan's misery from these people in the name of Jesus Christ. And I ask you, Father, please lay your hand upon these people. Please, please, Father, please help these people. They are shedding tears. They are on the floor, Father, please. I come to you in humility and ask you to please heal these people and <clears throat> the issues that plague them in their lives. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' holy name, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, I ask you, Father, amen. Now, those of you who are born again and don't have your prayer language and that want uh, desperately for the Holy Spirit to come inside and dwell into you, um, I'm going to pray to the Father for that, and I'm going to put my hand up. And please touch my hand while I pray. Father God, many people have come and asking for the Holy Spirit to indwell and reside and take up residence in their vessel. They want to serve you, Father. They want to commune with you. They want to speak in their heavenly language. And now I come to you, Father, in Jesus' name, and ask you to remove any fear that is in them, any doubt, any religious spirit, any spirit that is preventing them from inheriting the Holy Spirit uh, prayer language that you promised all born-again Christians. I come to you, Father, now, and I ask you to lay your hand and bless these people. And I am gonna, I'm going to pray to you, Father. E Marco Shondo Toto Forbo Cassandra Tete Fere Bacanda, Oro Porco Shotto to Serve Shimbatate Se, Oro Bacanda Tata Serve Shotto Voshope. In me cantar, Cassandro to Forbo Cossara Vegeta, E de Penjada Tata Porco Shotte Te Piti Sir, Patasanda Toto Porco Shotor, E Merco Shotto to Forbo Bacanda Tata Fere Beca Shotto Toto For, E Messenda Tete Pe, E Tende Fatata. Amen. And thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. If you need prayer, please email me. At made by Judy, M A D E B Y J U D I at gmail.com. If you were healed or if you received your prayer language, please email me and let me know. We want to give the Father praise report. <sighs> Thank you. God bless everyone. Have a wonderful day. In the Lord.